All right, so now you've submitted documents for review, and I want to cover whether your documents get approved or returned and what that means for you as a real estate agent. So let's go through my admin view real quick, and we will open up the documents. And now up here, it will allow us as the admin to approve or return a document back to you as an agent. And we can even send a note for this specific file. Maybe if something's wrong, we might leave a note as far as what needs to be fixed and resubmitted later on. So let's go through here and let's say, uh, oops, we didn't we didn't fill out, uh, I'm just gonna look at something. We forgot to put our name as the designated agent. So we might as admin, or we will say returned. Now we'll go to the next document. This looks good. We will approve that one. We will go to the next one. Signed, approve. Licensee name is not filled out. So we will hit return on that one. Disclosure, we will pretend was filled out correctly. And I will hit done. And now as the admin, I can click return to agent or approved. So I will hit return to agent because there are two return documents. Finish. And you may even see notes for individual files. So let's say I open this back up. Disclaimer, let's say I leave a note, need signed. So now I'll jump back out and you might have the note box that is now orange. That means there's an unread note for you as an agent. Now I'm in my own account and sent the note to the admin itself. So it didn't change colors, but that's where it would be is in the note section. Or we might, you might have an orange box over here, which means we've left a specific note for a specific file. These are individual notes, or if you have a question on a note, you could click here. But this is how you will be able to tell whether you have returned or approved files, and it will say return to agent. Now, if you have a return file and you go to submit for review again, it will actually block you because changes have not been made since the document has been returned. We wanna make sure as well that let's say, for example, we're missing a signature on this listing agreement, we don't want to add a document from our computer. Let's pretend this is the listing agreement that we got fully signed. We then can't hit submit for review, listing docs, submit. Same problem is we have not changed the required line item. That's what needs to be fixed. So if you, for example, have the seller sign off everything in person, and this is the copy that would be approved, you can take this, drag over top, and drop it into this required line item. And now with the fully signed one, and because there's a change, it would let you submit for review. So that is understanding the process between approved files and return files. But if it is returned your file, you will need to hit submit for review again. Don't skip down to this next one, work on this one, complete it and have everything approved.